all jump cast static filament types. Do you have a favorite one? Hello, welcome to my tech farm. A few months ago, I created a video where I was testing some aesthetic filament types, and size that I'm bombed with requests, and one also I got from the Jumka company. And earlier, I already tested their PTG filaments, and I was very happy with this quality. And as you can see, I used the whole spool for some bigger objects. And for this reason, actually, I accepted this request. So in this video, I'm testing all Jumka aesthetic filament types. Now to clear immediately something, that this is not a sponsored video. I got these filaments for free, but I'm not paid anything above this to create this video. And recently I got some quite rude comments that no, if I get the filaments or products for free, it is considered as a sponsored video because they always arrive with some conditions. Well, to clear immediately something, if I would ask, for example, $500, which a similar size channel would ask for the video, and then I will consider this as a sponsored video. I'm doing this for free, but I will work with the video editing sometimes 20 hours or even more. And from YouTube ads, I will earn about um, approximately $10. By the way, maybe you didn't even notice that the ads during the video are disabled on my channel. So sorry, no, but this is not considered as a sponsored video. And I apologize that I'm complaining too much, but my wife just don't want to listen to me anymore if I'm talking about the YouTube. Okay, back to these filaments. This is a marble PLA, matte PLA, silk dual or three color, and this version is dual color filament, wood and silk PLA. Let's check them one by one. Before I continue, I want to show you this table. These are informations I collected from the spools, because on the website there are some confusing informations, but information on the spool looks correct to me. Marble PLA, it have real marble texture, great for art and craft projects. Matte PLA, it have a matte finish surface, and uh, currently it is available in 9 colors, and this one is in navy blue color. Silk dual or 3 color filament, the filament have 2 or 3 colors in the cross section, it is available in 9 color combinations. This is the dual color version, this means the printed object will have a blue on one side and a rose red on the other side. And here you can see the cross section of the filament under the microscope. Wood PLA with a high wood content in its composition and we will have a fresh wood sand during the printing. Now according to my marketing contact we can print even with 0.4mm brass nozzle but I would like to see some tests and confirmation on their website too. My suggestion to jump to do this test. Measure the length of some removable brass nozzle, do a printing with a spool or two and then measure the length again and maybe they can compare it with some regular PLA. And after this they can provide this information on the website. And what will I test? Well, from mechanical testing, only the layer cohesion I'm curious about. Uh, so I want to know if I can print only some figurines or maybe some functional toys too. And then I will print a Kali Dragon from each filament so I can compare the surface and the print quality. And then I will have one bigger object for each filament, but it will be different for different materials. All filaments arrive on these cardboard spools and they have very nice uh, vacuum packaging with some desiccant inside. Now the wood PLA arrive with this resealable bag, maybe it is more sensitive to moisture. All other four filaments arrive with this plastic part and I'm not really sure what is this, maybe this is for some kind of cleaning of the filament or something like that. All Kali Dragons and test objects are reprinted on BabLab A1 and I'll try to use the same G code. Print temperature 220 degrees Celsius and the max flow 10 cubic millimeters per second. Marble PLA, matte PLA, silk PLA dual color. I just noticed how brittle is this wood filament and I don't like to place this kind of filaments into the AMS unit so it will be fitted directly to the extruder. Wood PLA and I can feel that pleasant smell of the wood. As you can see, this fitted directly to the extruder, but even now I don't feel too comfortable to print with this printer, but at least it's printing with stainless steel nozzle, not the brass one. Silk PLA in red color. Side by side the silk and the matte filaments, you can see the obvious difference between them. And then printing of those bigger objects, and mostly they are printed on FSM V400. The wood filament I printed on X1 Carbon because it is equipped with hardened steel nozzle. And this rose I printed on Bamboo A1. And now let's take a closer look of the Scully Dragons. This is Marble PLA, Matte PLA, Seal PLA, dual color. Maybe you can see two different colors on two sides. Wood PLA, 
and this is seal PLA in red color. The quality is extremely similar with the each color dragon, only maybe with the silk filaments I can see just a slightly more stringing, but probably after the drying this will be sold. And now let's see those additional bigger objects, this is the end stain. Looks really nice in this marble color. From Matt Pele I printed this bench and the reason for this is that I was curious how hidden will be those layer lines and uh, that whole line. Well actually the whole line is there and interesting I can see that uh, the bottom of this bench is slightly shinier compared to the top so this is because of the difference in the speed. From Silk Pele I printed this low poly owl and always this low poly objects looks very nice with these silk filaments and this is the dual color so from this back side it is in blue color and from this top is in this purple color. And from the wood filament, what else but uh, Groot, and only now I noticed that I completely forgot to remove those supports, three supports, well, let's see how easy is removing them, oh perfect, hmm, I think it will have good layer adhesion, that was it. silk filament in this red color and I wanted to print some low poly object too with this filament but it reminded me so much to the rose that I decided to print this in the spiral vase mode it's available on the printables even if it is not so important for aesthetic filaments but it is time to check the layer adhesion the smallest cross section area is 4 by 4 millimeters and uh, you can see the average values on the screen but on the left side you can compare very easily these filaments between each other More or less what I expected, the matte and silk filaments are very weak in this test. Only present surprise was the wood filament, I thought it would be weak similar to matte filament. My printing with these aesthetic filament types is not really my style, but I noticed that my family members, my students really enjoy in this kind of gifts. And I noticed that I print more and more with them and slowly they became part of my tech fun. So can you see some applications for these filaments? Write me for lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!